Alright guys, Josh here. I decided to uh, try to help everyone out by doing a couple of tax strategy videos. I've been watching uh, some of people in our clan struggle with certain attack strategy types like Mass Dragon in particular, which we're looking at today. Um, you know, because if, if you don't really study it, it's easy for it to go wrong. A lot of times with Mass Dragon, one of the biggest mistakes people make is just spamming all the dragons out in one place and then they either go completely around the outside of the base getting shot up the whole time and destroyed or out come the clan castle troops full of wizards that do splash damage they splash up your dragons and kill them and it's all over Johnny so now I'm gonna go over a uh, a successful mass dragon attack by Big Chief who's in my clan he's also a friend of mine um, and it's just you know textbook perfect Mass Dragon strategy. The key to Mass Dragon is starting off wherever you're going to start off. You need to send out one or two units before you drop the bulk of your dragons to clear out this, the outbuildings in front of where you're going to drop your dragons. So to try to explain this, I mean you're looking at my base on the screen. A lot of people would just come out here up at the top near you know these buildings up here and they would just spam out all their dragons in one shot and what would happen is those dragons because dragons attack any would just go uh... from one building to the next to the next to the next and just work their way all the way down the outside and around the base while my air defenses are just chewing them up and that's what you see a lot of times with mass dragon fails what you really want to do is if you were going to attack my base with mass dragon for example uh... if i was going to do it i would personally probably drop a drag here around this right side uh, archer tower and probably on the left uh, around this cannon or this elixir pump um, those dragons whether after those buildings are destroyed whether they move back up or further down the line really doesn't matter that's more of creating a break in the outside buildings so that the rest of the drags that you're gonna drop up top by like this army camp area don't go around the outside and if they do start to go around the outside as soon as they get to that empty spot where you destroyed these outbuildings they're gonna turn and go inside once they do turn and go inside you want them to get over to the air defenses as fast as possible since the the one defense that does the most damage to air defenses I'm sorry to dragons is air defenses everything else can be fairly marginal. Uh, Wizard Tower is really not too worried about Splash because dragons have really heavy uh, health. So that said, let's go take a, a look at, an, at the attack. Alright, so here's the replay. I'll start it and pause it. New feature from the new update. So, looking at this base, Big Chief is going to uh, uh, attack with the bulk of his dragons from the top. So what you'll see him do is you'll see him take out the cannons on the upper right and upper left behind those pink level 6 walls. And then those dragons carry on. And you kind of don't care about those dragons anymore, those first two. Because their whole purpose in life in this attack is just to create a gap uh, in the buildings between where you're going to drop the main bulk of your dragons and the inner core. So you want your dragons, when you release them, uh, since they just go after the next closest building, you want them, once they hit that gap, to turn inside. So, let's see how Big Chief does it. He's going to start up here towards the top. Again, dragons on the left and right, clearing those outbuildings. He then immediately drops the rest of his dragons straight up the line in like a V-shape and watch those dragons they all come straight down to the middle you're gonna see the rage spell come out in a minute and the rage is basically gonna be dropped right there connecting the dragons to that air defense because you don't want the dragons wasting time getting to those air defenses once they get there drop another rage connecting the dragons to the next air defense if there wasn't another air defense uh... nearby you wouldn't drop another rage basically my rule of thumb is wait until an air defense starts firing on a group of your dragons and then rage them. Uh, if you drop your spells too soon, the dragons will never get there and, and the spell will wear off. And in this case, it was great spell placement and the dragons did what they were supposed to do. And this turns into a three star. 
Just fast forward it. And that, my friends, is a perfect mass dragon attack. Hope you find that uh, useful. Thanks, guys.